I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Welcome everybody to those who believe in the pagan Islam and those who believe in the true God. Today we have a topic is about Adam and Eve. You know, uh, we know that Islam is a religion. Copy stories. Everything in the Quran is a copy of a story from somebody. Everything. And the story of Adam and Eve is no different. First, let me say, before we forget, Happy New Year. And for those Muslims who say that Muhammad is the most influenced person in the world, we saw that yesterday. We saw that the whole world is celebrating the day of the new year of Jesus. But nobody celebrates such a thing of Muhammad. So you can make a book that says Muhammad the most influenced, Maybe in terrorism, gang, but when it's come to be happy, safe, it is Jesus. So the question today, if Muhammad is a prophet and he have a God, his name is Allah, shouldn't he knew how he created Adam? Very simple, right? I mean, this is the beginning of the story. If we ask the Muslims right now, and I don't know how many Muslims we have in the chat, how Allah created Adam and Eve? Any Muslim can help us? You will see that every single Muslim, he will give you a different answer. Why? Because every single verse in the Quran gives you a different answer. Why? Because Muhammad is a thief. Why? Because Muhammad do not know what he is talking about. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Because if we could not get a Muslim today to answer the questions, and we will never do that, we will never get the Muslim to answer, then we will go live again and we will ask the same question. Uh, we have Mr. Muhammad Zaid, he is saying, he created Adam from clay. Okay. Well, Allah, he created Adam from clay. So how you say Muslim don't have answer? Muhammad, Muhammad Zayed, are you sure, my friend? Is that an answer you trust, or this is an answer not trustworthy? I will put your answer in the screen so everybody will see that we have a Muslim who he gave us an answer. Allah, he created Adam from a clay. Are you sure? Who is other Muslim he try to, you know, he can help? Allah created Adam from clay. Answer number one. Mr. Harun Abdullah says, Allah B, he said B, and it was Adam. All right, here we go. We are getting close to love. Actually, already we are starting laughing. 
we have another Muslim, he gave us different answer, which is contradiction for the first answer. Allah, he created Adam by saying B, and he was. But this is not really what the Quran says when it speak about how he created Adam from a clay. What's wrong with this book? Why every Quran is different Quran and every Quran contradict the other Quran? Which one of them is the correct? Allah created Adam by saying to him, be and was Adam or Allah he made clay and then he fashioned the clay as a human being and then he breathed into the clay. Who want to give us more answers? Who is a Muslim? He can give us more answers. The Muslims now, they are searching Google. No problem. We pray that Allah, uh, we don't pray to Allah for sure. We pray that Allah and his Google can help you. Who is the Muslim will give us more answers how Allah created Adam? Anyone? We are waiting. Any Abdul? Okay, Muhammad Zaid, you can answer. Go for, give us the answer. You want to call me, Muhammad Zaid? Do you like to call me in Skype so you can answer live? Who is a Muslim can help us? As you see, Muslims are in trouble. Very simple questions. Muslims, they have no idea. Any Muslim can help us. Allah got soil, mix it with water to form a clean. Okay. Let us put this answer in the screen. The answers are getting better. Allah gets soil with water to form clay and then he formed Adam and then he said and then he said be and breathe in the soul into Adam. <laughs> that is the most messed up answer ever. Look what he did. He tried to fix it because the previous answer said Allah, he said be and it was right. So if Allah already made a clay by mixing water and, uh, and sand and now he fashioned him, he made a statues like when you make a, like, a, you know, like people, they make a statues by their hands. And then after that, he said be. And then he breathed into him. So what the be for? <laughs> <laughs> this poor Abdul, he tried to fix it. He made it more blind. It's like somebody is getting a getting a, a, a big bar of iron to fix the eye of somebody. He said, "B." If he said, "B," the your your friend he says, Allah said, "B," and it was. But as you see, you continue saying after he said, "B," and the breathe into his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Islam is the best comedy ever. So, hey brother, hey, no, this is not the way you should talk. You should talk like Zakir Naik because Muslims, they will make fun of your English. If you talk like Zakir Naik, Muslims, they have no complaint. But the third, Allah, he got soil mixed. He went to the tree. He got some soil and he mixed it together. He got some water and then he made a clay. And all of us, we know how to work with clay. And then Allah informed Adam. And then he said B. When Allah said B, it doesn't mean B and he was there. 
because later it became there because the we be our Allah be nothing. <laughs> so Allah He said be. What happened when He said be? Any Muslim try to help us? Allah He said be. Okay, still Adam is not there. As you continue yourself saying, and he breathed into him. So what he did? Already he fashioned the guy as a clay. And B did not do any different. Any Abdul? The soul was breathed in. I, I got that. We got that already. But why he said B? <laughs> that is a true, clear contradiction in the Quran. Because B and he was, this is a different verse from the Quran, from this one. Total contradiction. And not only that, you are the one who says he breathed the soul into Adam. He breathed the soul from here. Focus with me, Abdul. This is a very serious question. Just to show you that Muslim, they have no idea what kind of a funny, stupid God they have. Listen carefully what the Muslim they will say. Muslim, a book challenge, Muhammadan, all of you, 1 billion, 25% of them, 24% of them, they left Islam already from the youth. I don't know whatever left of you now. When Allah, he breathed the soul into Adam, he breathed the soul from where? He breathed the soul from where? Any Muhammadan? You see, in the screen we see the Muhammadan themselves, they say, Allah, he breathed the soul. Okay. Where Allah, he get the soul which he breathed? Any Muslim? Where Allah, he got the soul, he breathed into Adam. According to Islam, Allah don't have a soul. Okay. So when Allah, he breathed into Adam, he breathed what? From where? Any Muhammadan? You see that the Muslim text in the chat disappear because they are busy searching Google. Well, a bad news for you, you will never find the answer. Saying that the Quran contradiction mean nothing as the Bible has contradiction. Well, that will not help you, my friend. You are trying to change the topic and your topic. So you agree that the Quran has contradiction, correct? This story is stupid. So look what you just did. You know, somebody says to you, you are stupid. Then you say to him, and you are stupid too. Okay, so now there's two people who are stupid. Still, both of you are stupid then. <laughs> so you just admitted that your God is not God. Correct, people? We are not discussing now if there is contradiction, as you say, because we can refute them. But you admitted by giving me this answer that you agree that the Quran is a stupid book and this is not cannot be the God who created Adam because there's no way Adam created by Allah and yet Allah he do not know how he created him. So thank you for being honest. We go back to the question which no Muslim answering internet now except that we have Mr. Muhammad Zayed agreed that the Quran is a stupid book, cannot be made by God. Thank you, Muhammad Zayed. You left Islam already. So, Muslims, Allah, He breathed the soul of Adam. That breathing is taken from where? That breathing is taken from where? Uh, a Christian princess. Okay, I, he deserves to be blocked now. Good for you. All right. Let us see. Hide this user. Here we go. Bye bye. Do we have any Abdul? 
Allah he breathed the soul into Adam. Did you notice that you just said the word soul? Okay. The soul Allah he breathed from where? Where Allah he took the soul from? Shouldn't he create the soul first? So we have to say the soul was created. Do Christians have a soul? This is not the question. Abdul Surf, we have soul. This is not the question. Are you trying to be smart now? That is a silly question. Do Christians have soul? Yeah, we have soul. We have soul and I have rice in the kitchen. You want? What does this have to do with the topic? I'm asking you, focus with me, focus. Don't be slow like your prophet. Allah, he breathed the soul into Adam. This is your words. The soul Allah, he breathed. He breathed how and from where? Watch the Muslim answer. Nobody knows. They don't know what to say. Stupid religion. Let us make it simple. Do Allah breathe? Muhammadan, as long as you are the one who agree that Allah, he breathed, Okay, I will go with that. Do Allah breathe? Any Abdul? Do Allah breathe? What's wrong with this stupid religion? Every word is a stupid. Those people, they don't believe in the Trinity. They don't believe that God have a soul. And obviously, Muhammad is copying a story that does not belong to his religion. Do Allah breathe? Harun Abdullah, he did hit us with an answer. Here we go. Look at this answer, priceless answer. Who can? I mean, that's it. This is this is like jewelries. So Harun Ahmad, he was thinking for ten hours. This appeared from the chat to come to us to say the answer for this. Allah knows best. That's deep. That is seriously deep. Allah knows best. <laughs> well, if Allah knows best and He told us what He knows in the Quran. But what he told us in the Quran does not make sense and is stupid and contradiction. So telling me that Allah knows best, obviously Allah knows nothing. Do Allah have a soul? You say no. Do Allah have a spirit? You say no. Do Allah breathe? Waiting for the answer. We did not even start. We are not debating. There is nobody with us talking to us. We are just chatting with Muslims. And look at that. Look at this madness. This is a very stupid religion. You like it. You don't like it. This is a very stupid religion. Muslims, I want an answer. Do Allah breathe? I'm not asking you in a chemistry. I'm just asking a simple question. Do Allah breathe? Do Allah have a soul? Big man saying to me, why does it matter? That's a genius question. So how come it matter for you if Jesus can be God or not? We are talking about your God. Shouldn't you know how your God do things? This is your God. So you must then became expert in the Trinity which is false, expert. You became expert in the Bible, which you know nothing about it. And suddenly you do not know anything about your Quran. And the answer Allah knows best. What about your prophet? Do he know best too? Yes, the Hadith says Allah and his prophet know best. Muslims are mushrikeen, kuffar. They associate their God knowledge with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. So they say Allah and his messenger know best. Going back to zero, yes, it does matter for us. We want an answer. Do Allah breathe? 
Why you are in trouble? We did not start yet. Allah created the soul and placed it in Adam. Okay, hold on, guys. This guy, he was squeezing his nose for the last 30 minutes, and now he appeared in the screen again. Look what he said, Muhammad Zaid. Thank you, Muhammad, for trying. I, I respect that in you, my friend. Mr. Muhammad saying, Allah created Adam, sorry, Allah created the soul and placed it in Adam. Show me where it says Allah he created the soul before he created Adam. Go ahead. If you show me the verse where it says that Allah created the soul of Adam before he created Adam, I will shave my 27 foot beard. Same time, the Quran does not say that Adam has a soul created. The Quran says, فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا We breathe into it, which means Adam, from our spirit. So he did not create a spirit. Our spirit, what is that? Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad. The most unorganized, funny, stupid yellow pages ever you can design. And the Muslim, they say that the Quran says, if this book is other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. I mean, this book is messed up. Allah did not create a soul to breathe it into Adam. He breathed from his soul but Allah don't have a soul. Like what the heck with this religion? Read carefully. When I have fashioned him and breathed into him my spirit. So Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Mr. Zayed, you did fool yourself giving me false answer. Because this is my spirit, not a spirit created for Adam. Who want to try better? Quran chapter 17, verse number 85. Let us see the answer from Mr. Big Man. Thank you, Big Man, for posting this answer. Okay, let us put it in the screen. Mr. Big Man, he said... <clears throat> Quran 1785 and they ask you O Muhammad about the soul say the soul is the affair of my God so he did not give an answer and you know little <laughs> this is what we are doing now we ask you a question you say Allah knows best what is the answer what command of my God I mean, we are asking you because you are God supposedly so the God now is answering saying Allah knows best so ask Muhammad, they ask Muhammad a question in his time. Hey, Abdul, the biggest Abdul Muhammad, what is the soul? Muhammad, he went home. He decided to make a case study. He scratched his head, not his, uh, you know. He thought about it. He took it left. He took it right. He took it up. He took it down. And he come with the conclusion is, Allah knows best. What's wrong with this God? What does this have to do with our... So Muhammad, he do not know any answer and his God do not know too. This is the verses he was, you know, referring to. Chapter 17, verse number 85. They ask thee concerning the spirit. Uh, and they built between two bracket inspiration and the Quran doesn't say anything about inspiration this is a false translation uh, tell them Allah knows best and you know little this is what they are asking you because they know little now we go back to zero Allah he breathed into Adam from his spirit what is that
Do Allah breathe? And his spirit is what? Do Allah have a spirit? Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> As you see, Islam is a counterfeit, and the counterfeit is bad. Like, you know, if you go, you will see many Chinese products, they are counterfeit, but they are perfect almost. You know, even they have the same, same serious, uh, serial number. This God is a foolish God. He doesn't know what he's copying. And now the poor Abdul, they have no idea what to say. I feel sorry for them, by the way. Let us go back to zero. Do Allah breathe? Do Allah breathe? Who is a Muslim can answer such a question very easy. Do Allah breathe? Anyone? So all the answers they gave us is a contradiction of each other. Allah, he did not say be and Adam was, as the other verse in the Quran says. As you see, Allah, he fashioned, first he made a clay. And how you make a clay? You bring dust or dirt, and you bring water, you mix it together. And how Allah he did that? By his hands. Literally, not by using the word being. He used his hands. So he used his hand making a clay, no problem. And then he fashioned the clay, no problem. And then after he fashioned the clay, he breathed into him from our spirit. But do Allah have a spirit? The Muslim, they say no. Allah don't have a spirit. Okay. So Allah does not have a spirit. But he breathed from his spirit. Solve the problem. Any Muhammadan? TikTok, TikTok. Anyone? If we search right now, just to help you, Muhammadan, because you will not receive help from your ustad, they are, uh, they are bankrupt. A Muslim, he went to a Muslim website, scholar's website, and he asked him a question I ask to refute me. And this is the question, do Allah has a spirit? And he was debating with me. So he went to this website and he said he is debating with a Christian and asking, does God have a spirit? The answer, no. <laughs> the answer, no. Praise be to Allah, blah, 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 blah. And here, the spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. Rather, it is one of his, of the things that he have been created by Allah. Okay, wonderful. So if Allah don't have a spirit, he breathed the spirit from inside him, which is not his spirit. So why he call it my spirit? And if Allah is the one who created the spirit, what the spirit is doing inside Allah? And this is the link, so you can check out. This is your Muslim Ustad giving you the great answer about your stupid religion. So we have Allah, he uh, have no spirit, but there is spirit is living inside Allah. And the proof that Allah he is, 
having the spirit inside him, he breathed. Actually, in Arabic it says, وَنَفَخْتُ Blow it. See it? Uh, here, Muhammad Zayed, he is saying, let us put it in the screen. Muhammad Zayed said, I am not going to be, I'm going to be straight up honest. You are not going to get the best answer from us. Why you don't go to the Sheikh Uthman Ibn Farooq or something or email him or online debate. Here we go. Give me his Skype. I will call him right now. What about you call me and you call him in the same time and you join us? Challenge. My friend Uthman ibn Farooq is not a man. He don't dare even to say hello to me. He don't dare even to let me say hello to him. So don't ask me why you don't you. However, as long as we know that this person is a coward, he will never dare to let me call him. What about you call him and record the conversation? Is that fair, guys? Call him. Record the conversation in full. We will play it. Everybody will hear the answer. And let us laugh. What do you think, people? Do this guy, Uthman, he dare even? This guy is just a kid. This guy, he just admitted that your prophet is not Abrahamic. Karkadun uh, 2.12 saying, read Surat Al-Baqarah 1.11. Well, I like the chapter of the cow for very simple reason. I like the Hindu people. But that will not help you. Let us go to the Quran, chapter uh, Baqarah 111. Okay. This is Al Baqarah, and we will go to 111. What does this have to do with my question? This is a proof that Muhammad, again, he is not able to answer. They say, none shall enter the, the paradise unless he is a Jew or a Christian. <laughs> Those, these are their own desire, just to show you how stupid your prophet. You just said in the same verse, you are the one who chose the verse, right? It says, produce your proof if you are truthful. I can ask you the same question. Can you produce the proof that the one who will enter heaven is a Muslim? From the Quran, I can get you busted. The Quran says that the Christians and Jews and even Sabians who worship stars will enter heaven. Let us go to the yellow page of Muhammad and laugh again. Remember, it's you who asked me to show chapter 2, verse number 11. Read and laugh. Isn't it your dummy Muhammad, he says, the Christians and Jews and, 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 and the Sabian, they will enter heaven? read the same chapter chapter 2 verse number 62 those who they are Jews those who they are Christians those who they are Sabi and they will enter heaven so you gave me a verse, the same chapter, verse number 111, saying, <laughs> they will not enter heaven. So who is the stupid? We go back to zero. Abdul failure. Hmm? Do Allah breathe? Do Allah breathe? Allah breathe from his soul. Do Allah have a soul? 
Mohammed Zayed, you have my voice. I mean, what email signed by my? I'm talking to you personally, and you are saying to me, send me email by your name. That is funny. <laughs> Guys, send me email. <laughs> if anyone can create a fabricated email with my name in it, I'm just giving you my voice. I have hundreds of people watching, witnessing. I actually I challenge this potato every day. Who there? All of you potatoes. All of you, all of you. I open my sky for hours and none of them there. And you are sending to me, give me email. So what I'm doing right now, why I want to send the email, I just told you. I challenge this potato to dare to give me his sky to call him live on air right now. All of them are potatoes because they have no answer. And here we go. Go to him. You know, he will not, he will never dare to let me talk to him. But what about answering you? Let him answer you at least. Aren't you a Muslim who needs an answer? Isn't it you who said Allah, you know, like you, you will not get the best answer from us, you will get from this guy? Aren't you now interested as a Muslim to know? So ask him, tell him, you are a coward, you will not debate Christian Prince, no problem. What about give us an answer? We are Muslim, we want to answer. Why I want to meet with him in person? I'm not going to fly anywhere, my friend. I sit here in my chair, enjoying my tea, laughing at Muhammad, and nobody dare to debate me. Why you don't meet with him in person? What we would do if we meet in person? We would do tango dance. Last time a Christian person, he met with him. He said to him, MashaAllah, you are six foot tall. He liked tall men. I'm afraid he would like me. But I'm not interested. He flirt. He flirt with David Wood. Go watch the video. MashaAllah, you are six foot tall. I mean, what kind of a man? He said to a man, MashaAllah, you are six foot tall. What does that mean? He is flirting with the man. He liked tall men, obviously. And what does this have to do with meeting with me? Are you meeting me now? Still you can't answer me. So you meet me, you don't meet me, you don't answer me. Do we have any brave Muslim? MashaAllah, you are six foot tall. Still you can't answer. You are five foot tall, you, don't, you cannot answer. You are 20 foot tall. Oh, don't forget that Adam, he was uh, 60 uh, meter tall. Any Abdul? They don't know. I don't debate anyone in person because I'm a very hot-blooded person. It's not for his benefit. Here I can control my anger, my friend. I don't want to make you shish kebab. I make you shish kebab over the internet. Safe and secure. If I go to meet him, he will say he's sexually harassing me because I'm pretty. You know, you never know. They will accuse you. You are coming all the way there, you know, chasing him. They will make a drama about it. Here we go. I'm here. Who can answer me? Do Allah breathe? Why the Quran keep contradicting itself? The story does not make sense. The story is contradiction. One verse says Allah, he created Adam by saying to him, be and he was. And then we check, we find that it's not true. Even there is a verse in the Quran saying that وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ Adam, he was and ever has to rush. Why? He asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. He created him from dust and he said to him, be and he was. But this is total contradiction for that verses. Hmm. Do we have any brave Abdul? So this is what we will do. I'm not going to keep you here for long. It's a first day after a new year. I hope everybody we pray that the Muslims will have a good life, the Hindu will have a good life, we love everybody, the Christians, the Jews, everybody, including the one who hate us, no problem, God is all about just, you hate me, God will deal with you, you want to hurt me, God will deal with you, you kill people, God will deal with you, and we are not worried about that, God will do absolute justice, it's just a matter of time. However, 
you cannot deny that your God is a stupid and you are stupid too for following a stupid God who cannot explain a sentence of what he say and his sentence, nothing of it makes sense. Do Allah breathe? They don't know. Okay, if he do not, then how Allah, he says, I breathe. Do Allah have a spirit inside him? As you see, it says in the front of you, I breathe into him of my spirit. So there is a spirit is inside Allah. Who is that? Who is the spirit which is inside Allah? And what that spirit is doing inside Allah? You see, the Christian, they believe that God is a spirit, so no problem for them. Your God is not a spirit. And if Allah is not a spirit and he have no spirit, so what that spirit is doing inside him? And why Allah breathing it? Do we have any Abdul? And now Mr. Uthman, Mr. Zaid, he is not busy about answering his stupid Quran. Is was busy about asking me to wear a mask. This is how stupid they are. And my friend, the one who is scared, he will not write books calling Muhammad is stupid. That is the last one scared person he would do. Is that correct, people? And by the way, I have a good news for you. Who, how many in here? They are from India. How many here from India? Guess what? We have my book, Deception of Allah, is translated already to the Malayalam language. I will post it either today or tomorrow for free. Wonderful, isn't it? So now we have hundreds and hundreds of millions from India. They can read the stupid Muhammad life story and his stupid Quran and all the garbage there. Good news to India. My book is coming to India for free. As a gift for the new year start. So now we have my books in Chinese, in Russian, in Indian, I mean, you name it, uh, Indonesian. We cover almost the world. Who's left? Albanian, Croatian, Serbian. Well, I don't know, Spanish, Portuguese, French. I think my book will be the most translated book ever, for sure, not like the Bible, no way. Between books written by normal men. Any Abdul? No answer, look at them. Incredibly, in disability, They don't know what this God is about. They have no idea who is Allah. They don't know even what Allah means. All what they have, Allah is one. Who cares if Allah is one or two or four? Still, he is a stupid one. Allah is one, but he is a stupid one. How this God who is one, the Muslim, he thinks like he is superior by saying, I believe in one God. Will the Egyptian believe in one God? Those who worship Shaitan, they believe in one God. Even the Hindu, they have many gods, but there's one God in the top. So what that will do? Oh, you have one God. You don't even know who's this God. You're a prophet, never met him. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? So this is what we will do as long as the Abdul are terrified and I understand the situation. I mean, if I am Abdul like you, God forbid, I don't know what to say. So I want the Abdul who they are listening here to call every Abdul. They think he's a bigger Abdul, like the guy he called the Uthman, but Uthman is not a, he's just a potato. This guy is not even, is not even a demon. But anyway, you think he's big, call him. 
and we are waiting for the answer. Do Allah have a spirit inside him? Don't tell me it's not inside him, he is breathing. It is coming from inside. Is Allah empty inside? In order to breathe out, that's mean I have an empty space inside me. And this is true. We human, inside us, there is an empty space. We have lungs. Do Allah have lungs? And the spirit which Allah, he breathed from it, what happened to it? Did all the spirit came out to Adam? Or Allah, he took some of it and he gave it to Adam? Islam is a stupid. Samara Khan, how are you Samara? Here we go, Samara gave us the answer. Look how Muslim, they give us a very firm answer, very easy. Samara said, you guys are liars. Okay, you can say we are liars, but still you can't answer Samara. Allah, do Allah breathe? Samara? You guys are liars. I cannot call you. This is a lie. This is a lie. What lie? The Quran in front of you. I mean, this stupidity is amazing. The Quran saying that Allah, he breathed. He breathed into him from my spirit. So there's a spirit inside Allah and Allah, he breathed. And you say to me, it's a lie. What's wrong with the Abdul? Abdul is like a repeating machine, like a, like a, 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 a the, the bird who keep repeating, potato, potato. We show him the verse in the Quran. It says, I breathe into him. The, the Muslim says, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Like Abdul, read it. Allah, he breathed into him. It's a lie. From my spirit, it's a lie. This is the answer now. This is your Islamic website. This is the chapter 15, verse number 29. It's a lie. You show them from their own book, their own translation, their own stupid printed, published by you. It's you even who spend money to publish this website. And then you say to me, it's a lie? Hey, this is a good question, Muhammad Zaid. Isn't it the Bible says that Jesus, everything created by him and for him? Thank you very much. So we as a Christian then, that's mean now you admitted that the one who created Adam is Jesus the Christ. Guys, look what Adam, he sorry, Muhammad, he said. Who is the one who created Adam? It was Jesus. The Bible says, everything created by him and for him. Do Jesus breathe? Yes, he does. Do our God have a spirit? Yes, he do. But in your religion, your God does not have a spirit and he should not be breathing. <laughs> is your God Allah is the same as Jesus? So what happened now? Mr. Muhammad, he proved to us that the foolish Muhammad, he copied the story from the Old Testament. But the story in the Old Testament makes sense because the God of the Christians, he breathe, he have a spirit. The God of Islam, he don't. He don't have a spirit too. This is what happened when a thief he take a story from different book, he put it in his book, and then we find that this stupid book does not match with the original story and make the story really totally corrupt. So if your God don't breathe and your God does not have a spirit, so your God got the spirit from where and what the spirit is doing inside him? And why he's saying I breathe? If you don't breathe, 
When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Uh, last time you said, here we go, Abdul, want to change the topic? No problem, just to for a spanking, for a snack. No problem, just give you a snack. Here we go. Last time you said that Jesus, he knew the future, but you claimed that you did not believe in a predestination. So what a future does he know? Then, my friend, the predestination, you obviously you are stupid like your prophet. The predestination is me deciding to you what you will do. God knowing the future is because he is almighty and he have no limitation to know. But this is not a predestination. The knowledge of God, to make it simple, when God, he created Adam, if God do not know what Adam will do after that, that's mean God is like you and me, he do not know, because Adam, he would do something bad, and Allah do not know, so Allah is not God. And this is what happened in the Quran. My God, he knew the future, for he is almighty God, and what is impossible for you is not impossible for him. But predestination is that I decide to you what you will do. It's not, not about me knowing what you will do. So again, you are just a fool, Abdul. As an example, you Muslim, if we ask you, if somebody commit adultery, should he be punished? Mr. Sufyan, can you say yes or no? If somebody committed adultery, should he be punished? I'm waiting for your answer. Guys, wait for his answer. Right away, when he give you the answer, you will die laughing. Muslims, if somebody commit adultery, shall he be punished? Who want to give us the answer? If a Muslim commit adultery, should he be punished? Who is a Muslim volunteer? Sufyan, I'm waiting for you. Sufyan, don't tell me now you are not a Muslim no more. Sufyan now is searching Google. Suddenly, Sufyan do not know his book. Susu, Sufyan, if a Muslim committed adultery, should he be punished for what he did? Who is a Muslim on answer? Okay, who is a half Muslim can answer because full Muslims cannot answer. Let us seek help from the, the, the half. Mr. Amin, he says, Allah, he created us a free like angels. Show us the verse, Mr. Amin, otherwise people will laugh at you. This is a lie. Muslim, they keep lying to us, giving us false answers. Where in the Quran it says that Allah, he created Adam with a free will. The Muslim, they believe in Al-Qadr, and this is one of the major belief in Islam. If you don't believe in it, Qadr means destiny. So if you are a Muslim, you don't believe in Al-Qadr, that's when you are not a Muslim. Stupid answer. What happened to Sufyan? Sufyan disappeared. Do you know why Sufyan will not answer? Because Sufyan, he knew that his prophet make a lot of poo poo. Not only here, even behind the wall, which he used to dry his hand with. If we go in the Quran, sorry, in the Hadith, you will see Muhammad saying that even when you commit adultery, it's not your choice. Allah, he decide how much adultery you will do. It's a predestiny. And the Bible will refuse that. Because if this is true, so why God will punish me? Why people will go to hell and people will go to heaven if everything is a predestiny? That is a stupid. So when somebody, he commit adultery in Islam, it was Allah who decide how much adultery you will do. Read carefully. Allah Messenger, Allah Apostle said, obviously he's an apostle, but of the devil, he's stupid, he says stupid things. It says here, verily Allah has the fixed very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, in which of necessity he must commit. Do you see it? Necessity he must commit. That is the stupidity of Islam.
<clears throat> Another Abdul. Just to show you how Muslims they are in this ability, they do not know what to answer, so they cry out. Read carefully what this Abdul is saying. He's being nice, by the way, but nice in a foolish way. Hmm. Read. Subhanallah, till today, bro, you are still talking. First of all, a Muslim cannot call non Muslim bro because only Muslims are brother to each other. This is proving to me that you are an idiot, you do not know your religion. Islam says even your family, your parents, your father, your own children cannot be your friends if they are not Muslims. So again, you are a false Muslim. You do not know what you are talking about. Secondly, you cannot say to non-Muslims, may Allah guide you because the Quran forbid that. Even he said to Muhammad, you try to guide them or not. Are you going to guide the one who Allah misled it? So the stupid Islam is very stupid. Allah, he made a predestiny for me to attack Muhammad. And then you say to me, why you are doing that? Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this before? According to Islam, right now, I open my YouTube because Allah, he decided that Christian Prince, he will go live on air and he will say every word I'm saying, according to Islam, is a predestiny. Abdul, you came back, Sufyan, where is the answer? Is Allah going to punish you for your adultery or not? <laughs> we just showed you that Allah is the one who made you do adultery. So what is the point of this religion? Actually, Allah is the one who made you kafir. And Allah is the one who decided to make you believer. What a stupid religion, so why he want to punish you? Read carefully, a smart Muslim, after he disappeared 14 hours, he came back after thinking, are you saying your God has no control over the future? Or you are not making sense? No, Abdul, just to show you how stupid you are. If I control the future of you, that means I did not give you free will. If I am in control of your future, if everything you will do, so why I will send some people to hell as a punishment for something I forced them to do? People, do you see why we say Islam, it is a stupid religion? Do you see why it's stupid? If Allah in control of my future, so now I am life on air because Allah in control. He made me, he, he got me from my bed. He said, Christian Prince, go to your computer, push the bomb, Put your password, open your browser, go live on air, spank Muhammad, that was a destiny. Allah is in control. So you stupid you, you are saying to me that the stupid Muhammad is insulted by me because the stupid Allah decided to make me, force me to insult him. Thank you very much. How stupid that religion is. It's your free will. Okay, can you show me the free will? Mr. Big Man, I mean, those people, they keep saying things. All of it is stupid. Let me show you. Even your prophet, he says, even a child might go to hell. A child, a baby. What a stupid religion. Aisha, she attended the funeral with Muhammad for an infant who is a son of a Muslim family. So he's born of a Muslim family, his family are Muslims, and they are believers, and they are companions of Muhammad. How good it can be more than this? And Aisha, she said, well, this child, he is going to be a bird from the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he said, no, it might be the other way. Why? Because Allah created who will go to heaven when they are in the backbone of their parents or their father. And those who will go to hell when they are in the backbone of their parents. And this is a stupid because why a person, he is just a child, he never commits sin. He will go to hell. Just because they believe in a stupid predestiny. You notice that all of those questions are trying just to take us away from our major topic. But doesn't hurt, we are making fun anyway. Read carefully. Do Allah have a spirit? Do Allah breathe? 
if Allah breathed, breathed from inside him or from outside him, from his mouth or from his nose. As long as Allah he breathed, that means he have an empty space inside him. So all this garbage questions, just to change the topic, wherever you go, you are getting beaten. Key point is me, don't insert things into the hadith. My friend, guys, big man is a genius. He says the main point is me. Okay, okay, me what? He might may go to hell. <laughs> this is a stupidity. Why he may go to hell? Look at the genius. The main the key point is me. But why a person never commits sin may go to hell. I will tell you because you have you maybe you understand that you have a stupid God. Because a person who never commits sin should not be under me. Go to hell. He should go to heaven guaranteed. Because he never commits sin. So now he tried to fix it. He made it more blind. Abdul, what you can say? I mean, Abdul, but I don't know what they eat. The camel urine is not helping. So now you fix it. The main point, the key point, he said me. What me? That is not even good. This is horrible. The child, he did not even, this is an infant. This is an infant. And you're a prophet, he gave why me? He says, because Allah created those who will go to heaven in the, when they are in the backbone of their father. because of his free will, will do bad things. You strip at the guy, he die. I mean, where those people come to me from? I cannot find one Muhammad and he have an IQ. Not only, not only they don't have, they have low IQ, they don't have IQ at all. The kid, he is an infant, he die and he will do bad things. Are you scratching your head or your ass? The boy is an infant and he is dead already and then he will do bad things when? I mean, what's wrong with those people? The little boy is dead. He will do bad things, okay? He will disobey Allah, but he is dead. He will do bad as Allah, but if he will, he will disobey. Like, the guy is dead. He is say, will they disobey Allah later, brother? Later when the guy is dead, he is just six months old. Is he disobey Allah? Like how? He will do poo poo in his diaper after he die? When I call them potatoes, don't think I'm insulting. I'm rewarding you. Potatoes are delicious, a smart design by the, by, by the Holy God. But those people who designed them, you tell me. You cannot take the hadith the ruling from your head. You cannot answer. You are the you are the one who said he will disobey Allah, but this is a boy who died already. Conclusion: Islam is a stupid, and therefore the one who follow it cannot be smarter. I'm going to ask you all to leave your comment in the section, in the comment section. And if you are a Muslim, let us repeat the question for the thousandth time. You can answer about anything you want. But the major question here, we ask all Muslim to call their sheikhs. The shaky sheikh, the one who have long beard, the coward who do make a lot of money from your pocket, but they cannot help you. When Allah, he breathed, he breathed what? From where? It says, from my spirit. So he's breathing from inside them. Do Allah have inside and outside? Do Allah have a space inside him? Allah, he breathed into him from my spirit. Is Allah borrowing a spirit? Because according to Islam, Allah does not have a spirit. So if Allah, he breathed from my spirit and he don't have a spirit, that means this is a spirit of different God. Otherwise, we are waiting to know who is this spirit. And why Allah cannot create Adam without this spirit, which is not his spirit. If you say it is his spirit because the Quran says it is my spirit, then you have to change your religion, agree that Allah has a spirit. If you say to me the spirit is Jibreel, that means Allah is not the one who created Adam. It was the power of Jibreel, the spirit of Jibreel. 
Islam is a certified stupid religion. I'm waiting for the answer. Please leave your comment. And I hope we have a good day today and we learn something good. Muslims, I'm warning you, it's going to become avalanche. People are leaving Islam, my friend, by hundreds of thousands. Read the comment and see how many Muslims left Islam because of us. What you can do about it? Nothing. Researches show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. Now, let's... See? Your child is going to become an apostate. And this is the guy even making cartoon of the Quran. Things is getting horrible. So my friend, we are waiting for the Abdul to give us the answer. If we ever can find the Abdul, he there to give us the answer. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. Maybe tomorrow. Christ is Lord. And the new year of the Lord. Superior. And the whole world celebrated. For Christ is the most influenced person in this earth. You like it or I mean, not. Again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel you. is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 